Hello everyone, welcome to Fashion Calgary channel. It's uh, beautiful, actually Thursday morning in Calgary and uh, it's uh, good to be back here. Uh, again, as always, thank you for all your messages and emails regarding our last topic which was makeup essentials. Uh, I love that topic because you can go and talk endless about uh, the makeup, uh, beauty, your skincare and don't worry, we will get more deeper into the topic um, in my uh, future segments. But um, today um, there is a topic that I really wanted to uh, talk about uh, because we do quite a lot of photo shoots and uh, we've been receiving more um, uh, emails uh, and uh, requests to schedule a photo shoot if it's uh, editorial, a business photo shoot, portrait, a creative photo shoot, doesn't really matter. But the topic that I really wanted to talk to you about today is what to wear for the photo shoot and how to prepare for the photo shoot. So, um, you know, it's uh, it all depending on what kind of photo shoot you are going for. But there are some few general rules that I think might be useful for you uh, to get ready for the photo shoot. Uh, one of the first thing that you should remember is what you think look great in your everyday life and what you're wearing every day might not necessarily be uh, working for the photo shoot. Uh, so that's why I think carefully. Uh, try to um, really spend some time and organize everything before you're actually heading for a photo shoot. The more outfits, shoes and accessories you can bring for the set, the better uh, idea the photographer will have um, what to use and uh, it's just giving him or her more options to, to be prepared for the photo shoot and to choose from. Um, when choosing the clothing at home, uh, that's kind of the um, things that I've seen many times when models uh, are coming for the photo shoot and many times they are aspiring models, they are not professional models. So they don't really have an idea what to bring. So try to avoid washed out clothing and something that is partially damaged. You know, uh, it might be your favorite cotton shirt or your favorite blouse or dress, but believe me, um, photo shoot, uh, Photoshop is amazing when it comes to, um, you know, edit those things but uh, it speaks also about you and uh, how you prepare for the photo shoot so try to stay away from the washed out clothing and anything that is damaged even partially um, if you're a professional model or aspiring model, doesn't really matter. It is very often recommended to spend some time at home, uh, create few outfits, few looks that you think might work, and take a picture of yourself in these outfits and create an album. Uh, so um, then you can send these photos to the photographer uh, that you are going to shoot with, uh, so he or she can uh, share some suggestions with you how to uh, what to change how to improve those looks and based on that uh, you'll be more ready when you're coming for set to, to do the photo shoot. Um, uh, one thing that I want to also mention at this point is like uh, once you create those few looks you can actually uh, have them ready every time you're going for shoot so maybe organize them on a hanger, uh, pack in a nice uh, garment bag and have it in your closet so you're always ready for the shoot. Um, I also want to mention that uh, outfits and accessories you are preparing for the photo shoot, they are only adds on. It's not really the main focus when it comes to the photo shoot. The photo shoot is to about bringing who you are through the lens. And of course, it's a work of photographer and his skills, but it's also your work. So uh, the clothing should, and accessories should actually enhance your beauty and enhance your features that the photo shoot is uh, uh, it's for. Um, uh, one of the uh, things that I would also suggest and ask before you're heading for the photo shoot, uh, try to ask the photographer if there is going to be a steamer or iron uh, available at the photo shoot because many times when you're traveling the clothes uh, can get uh, wrinkled. So. Um, of course, uh, keep them on a hanger and an garment bag, but you know, those things happen and if you travel long distances, the clothing can go uh, wrinkled. Um, 
Uh, so those are the kind of like simple rules that I think you might find useful when you're uh, getting ready for the photo shoot and when it comes to the clothing and accessories. Um, what kind of clothes looks good on camera? That's kind of a question that uh, I've uh, received many times from you. Uh, again, everything depends on the type of a photo shoot uh, you are um, doing and you are going for. So um, if it's a business photo shoot, you won't likely need any see-through clothing, which which I see many times, um, but rather more business-oriented attire. So suits, uh, jackets, fitted jackets, skirt, uh, skirts, uh, pencil skirts, heels. Those are kind of the items that works great with the business photo shoot. Um, uh, but if you're going for a creative photo shoot, for example, you might bring some more uh, interesting patterns, interesting uh, fabrics, uh, interesting accessories, um, anything that uh, looks vibrant in front of the camera anything that's a low cut a low cut garment so it's easy to take off or showing more of your body again depending on the time of the photo shoot you are doing um, uh, and uh, but here uh, when you talk about the type of a photo shoots for example and uh, I would say those are the kind of two main, I would say, or three main photo shoots that we are actually doing these days. So I really wanted to uh, quickly go uh, over these. Um, when it comes to the business photo shoot, and if you are a male model or a, or a male and you are going for to have a business photo shoot or business portrait, uh, I would prepare two looks. One would be business, and one would be more casual. So you may get uh, more options, and you may use you may want to use these photos afterwards for different purposes. So if you are trying to uh, shoot for a business look uh, well, the things that I would suggest would be definitely uh, nice uh, fitted and um, mm a men's suit. Uh, Color-wise, again, depending on uh, where the photo shoot is going to be, uh, what's the background uh, for the shoot, so that uh, that uh, kind of gives you a better idea what kind of colors of the suit you should bring and what goes nicely with who you are and how you look like. So, um, things that always works is definitely uh, a black suit, a gray suit, um, brown, dark brown, you might experiment with that again. Uh, it's uh, what works for you, what works for the purpose of the photo shoot. Uh, another one which uh, you might try would be uh, navy. It's a beautiful color, very business oriented, very professional looking, uh, and it always works. It can be paired with white shirt, blue shirt, um, but more toned down. Don't experiment with gold. I've seen that many times with yellow shirt, pink shirt, um, vibrant colors, because that's kind of the first thing people will see when they look at your uh, picture and it's really not the thing that you uh, want to showcase it's we want to showcase your entire you um, uh, and your person um, so suits it's uh, definitely one thing that you may uh, try for the business photo shoot again would we could uh, instead of having suit you can find a nice tailored jacket um, paired with nice dress pants and a good um, ironed shirt make sure that your shirt is ironed because um, sometimes we think okay I'm going to wear a jacket or a suit or whatever so I want really see the shirt well you might want to be asked to take the jacket off and then nobody wants to see the wrinkled shirt it means like you're not really paying attention to the detail which might reflect on the type of work you're doing so be ready ask questions remember about the iron and uh, steamer and um, shoes if you're shooting the whole body shot great cleaned shoes uh, I know many women pay the first attention to uh, pay a lot of attention and first they look at your shoes so uh, although it's your bottom part of the wardrobe it's actually one of the main thing uh, people are looking at so depending if it's a portrait or it's a full body shot uh, be prepared and be ready have your shoes nicely cleaned and uh, not used one uh, with uh, uh, some damages especially in the front of your uh, shoes if you're going for a more casual look then you have more options because again depending on the type of the photo you can wear jeans, you can wear casual pants paired with a nice shirt uh, or nice sweater, nice blazer, again depending on uh, the, uh, the purpose of the shoot. I really like the combination, depending if it's a winter time you might go with a nice jeans, a blazer and a nice uh, sporty jacket or if it's summertime a great uh, lighter pants like uh, linen pants with a nice uh, more lighter colored shirt. Um, 
tie, not necessarily. You may uh, replace it with a nice, just uh, open shirt, a nice jacket with a pocket square that always brings some funkiness, but yet it still looks very fashionable. Uh, again, with women, if you're going with a business photo shoot, um, a more um, women's suits, uh, either it's a skirt and a jacket or pants and a jacket, or a more business uh, uh, looking dress uh, with a jacket on the top that you can always take it uh, 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 off if uh, you need to. Uh, blouses, uh, blouses of course, um, paired with either skirts or pants heels uh, I would skip open toe shoes it's not really the uh, professional business message that you want to send and unfortunately in the summertime I've seen uh, a lot of open shoes I, I know you want to you might want to showcase your uh, great looking toes and uh, beautiful pedicure but it's not really uh, the message that you want to send when you're going to work and if you are working in the professional field um, if you are shooting for a more casual look uh, then you have more again more options Options, more uh, dresses, skirts, uh, blouses, uh, a little bit more flexible, more uh, relaxing type of attire. Uh, and accessories, again, I wouldn't experiment with, uh, with a lot of accessories when you're shooting for business uh, uh, portraits, and I'm talking both male and uh, female. Well, uh, male, I would uh, probably stay with um, stay with the watch, but female, you have more options when it comes to accessories. So a uh, nice um, pair of earrings, maybe bracelet, a necklace, depending on type of the outfit, but be very careful. Uh, too much is not really recommended less is more and that's the rule that I always try to stick and say to my clients especially when it comes to the business photo shoots uh, and then the last thing a little bit more into creative a part if this is a more editorial creative photo shoot then you are uh, totally on a wide open uh, field because then you can experiment depending on what the photo shoot is for um, what's the message that you want to send and uh, what's kind of the style that both you represent and the photographer that is who wants to achieve a certain look so here uh, it's recommended that you connect before the shoot brainstorm ideas create a few looks and then you're coming ready for the photo shoot and uh, you can start shooting um, part of the looks when you're shooting is definitely hair and makeup but this is a topic that I think we can discuss a little bit later in one of my next segments when it comes to the photo shoots but be very again very natural when it comes to hair and makeup for those shoots uh, the business or casual because makeup and hair is something additional it's not the first thing that people want to see when they look at your picture it's uh, something uh, that um, is adding uh, added to your entire image so uh, it goes nicely with your clothes with your type of the um, person and uh, the purpose of the picture and uh, the message that you want to send to your crowd so I hope that you find these simple rules um, useful and if, again if you have any questions related Related to that topic, uh, feel free to send us an email to info at fashioncalgary.ca. Find us on all of our social media, so YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hear your uh, comments, uh, your uh, to read your emails, and uh, looking forward. Have a wonderful weekend uh, ahead, and I look forward to see you next week.